it's a great day for a drive, especially in this 2019 F-150 XLT in blue jeans metallic. It has gray cloth interior seating for six, four doors, and a five and a half foot box. It also has a 3.5 liter V6 engine. It's paired with an automatic transmission and it's a four by four. It has the XTR package and that adds a little bling with a chrome grille, bumper, fender, running board and door handles. It also has a nice line box and it has an integrated trailer brake controller with a class four trailer tow hitch. It's really easy to take this vehicle out on a test drive. You can book that online at islandford.ca. Stay tuned, we're gonna have a look under the hood and inside and out. Here at Island Ford with Ava. She's in training right now and she's lounging in our lounge area. We have a big screen TV, water and coffee, as well as water and treats for our four-legged friends. We're just reminding you, please do not leave your dogs in the car. They're more than welcome in the dealership. We're pet friendly. The 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine, it's a V6. It's paired with an automatic transmission and it's a four by four. Let's have a look inside. Have a speaker in the door, as well as power locks, windows, and mirrors. There's also manually adjusted seats with manual lumbar, lumbar for both driver and passenger. All wheel weather mat on the floor and you have your electronic parking brake as well as your lighting controls. There's a running board and grab handle making it easier to get in and the steering wheel can tilt and telescope. It has the dash controls, cruise control, media with volume and hands-free dialing. We're going to start up the vehicle. You're going to see any important messages, your odometer reading and the menu will come up momentarily for us. There you go. Trip one, trip two, fuel economy, driver assist, settings, and these all have sub menus. The automatic select shifter has drive mode. When I press the end, you'll see it appear. There's normal, press again, tow haul, snow wet, eco, sport, and back around again. And you've got a little cubby up top and you have your traction control, hazard lights, auto stop start for less idle time. And we're just gonna go in here and we're seeing our display screen so we can go into audio and we'll just turn that off and go into the sources am fm series satellite radio as well as bluetooth when we put the vehicle in reverse we're going to see our backup camera view and what you're seeing is the white lines which tells you where you're going as you turn the steering wheel and the green yellow red is how close you are to objects or other vehicles as you go in reverse. Let's put us back into park for safety sake there. And then we can go into our settings. And again, you can just see, I'm just touching on the screen for the different options. There's your Bluetooth, your mobile apps. You've got 911 assist, Android auto, Apple CarPlay, and you just touch on whatever it is that you would like. And then you've got your volume and tuner, and there's the fan, as well as your AC, max AC, front defrost. Down below is a couple of USB outlets and a 12 volt. You've got your four x four locking differential and your integrated trailer brake controller. The armrest has a couple of cup holders and storage, which is really handy. And then flip it up for another seating position. It has its own seat belt. You're seeing a couple of cup holders there. You can unclip more storage and you can flip those cup holders underneath the seat if you want them out of the way. There's your 12 volt and you have a locking glove compartment and a manually dimming rear view mirror. There's your lighting controls, sunglass holder and a grab handle on the body, just making it easier to get in. Wheels, splash guards, chrome and magnetic running board, chrome door handle, keyless entry keypad, driver's side, capless easy fuel gas filler. And in the back, the chrome handle extends to the tailgate. The tailgate is lockable and removable. The backup camera is located just below that handle and you have a four and seven pin connector and your trailer hitch. And then when you're ready to open it up, you simply put your hand in and lift up. You've got tie downs in all four corners in this nice line box. And then when you're ready, just close it up, lock it up and walk away or jump in and head out on your latest adventure. Speaker in the door as well as power windows. There's a grab handle in the body and seating for three in the back with a 60-40 split. Simply lift the seat with one hand. It's in the upright position, just giving you more room on the floor. And then pull the tab, oops, the tab at the base of the seat. It'll come right down. There's anchors at the base to be able to tether baby seats. And you have all weather mats as well as carpeted mats, slim pockets on the back of the front seat. In the center is a 12 volt, couple of cup holders. Up top is dome lighting. You've got hooks and in the back, access to a big window. Five and a half foot box that's lined mud flaps. Privacy glass in the back windows with window vents, adjustable side view mirrors, halogen headlights, fog lights, tow hooks, and so many more reasons to visit us. If you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe. We have plenty to share with you and we'd love to hear your comments. I'm going to respond today to one of the comments that I received 
on the YouTube channel and I appreciate all your comments and uh, thoughts on different subjects as I film and I just wanted to let you know unfortunately I am on an active parking lot where I have two construction sites one on either side of me and today is a very blustery day so though I've gotten some great ideas and suggestions for reducing the noise that's in the videos especially when it's windy and I have taken every step to do that sometimes I just can't block it out so I hope you enjoy the video if it gets really bad put on the closed captioning and I'll do my best to give you a nice video with very little wind sound.